Hello everybody, I hope you're having a nice day. I'm here to show you um, something new today. Um, first Poppy's haircut. Uh, have you seen her smart haircut? Let's show. Looking good, looking like a poodle, don't you Pops? Um, every time I take her to the groomers they like to make her look very poodly but she does look really sweet and it is really nice to see her eyes for a change. Oops, you gonna come sit here Poppy? Yep, yeah, sit on all the cushions. So, um, I'm here to show you what is on my bottom half because on my top half is just a jumper. Um, and unfortunately, I can't, so I haven't been able to set this up with a really good um, space behind me because the works have finally finished and the decorating has almost finished as well. So we've taken everything out of storage and it's currently right there. So um, I can't do any of my filming in my normal spot. Um, so I'm going to have to stand on the sofa to show you what is on my bottom half. So here we go. This, uh, these rather are the new pajamas. Da, 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 da. Um, so we, um, this is a pattern that we've had in our kind of books of patterns for a while in that it was a class first um, so some of you will remember our PJ's class it was one of our beginner classes and we've been waiting to release this at Christmas we did almost try to release it last year but it was um, various things made it difficult to do that so we're releasing it now and I'm wearing them in this lovely brush cotton which is very festive and very wintry and cosy and as you can see, they're nice and baggy and also quite wide-legged as well. Uh, excuse my yellow socks. Um, that's really important for me. I don't like tapered pyjamas. I like them nice and wide-legged. The crotch is also quite low, which again is important for me. But it means you can pull them up if you prefer to have them higher up. You can have them higher up. It's completely up to you. So, there we go. Um... These, um, so yeah, so there is a, I don't, did, there is a separate waistband here, guys. I don't know if you could see that. Buttonholes for the ribbon as well. Um, and then it's just a very standard, um, standard construction. So these are a great pattern for somebody who hasn't done trousers before but wants to have a whirl at just getting their head round trouser construction because there's no fitting involved, it's so simple um, and um, yeah they're a nice easy project and also for someone who's more experienced it's just nice to make something simple. When I was making these up for the um, photo shoot I just was like I'm really enjoying making something really easy and something different from a shift dress, which is my my standard easy thing that I often make. Um, so yeah, it was nice just to make something in an evening. And although I'm wearing them with a jumper, I thought I'm really stupid. I should have made a matching or like a navy molly top because they would be perfect to be worn together. So molly top and these together would be make good winter pajamas. Um, so there's an idea guys, you could make molly top with them. You could make them for a present for somebody. I have actually thought I might make them for my sister for Christmas with a molly top um, as a, like a homemade pajama outfit. Um, and if you do like this fabric, um, then we are launching simultaneously, which we rarely do, but we're launching simultaneously some exclusive kits with three colourways of this brush cotton. So there's the red cotton, there's um, bottle green and navy, and there's also grey and navy as a really nice kind of gifty purchase. So if you know um, for yourself, but, or if you know someone who loves sewing, um, then you can get them the printed pattern for the PJs and the fabric and the ribbon and the elastic. Um, and it's just a nice, like, nice little gift together. So. They are live on the site um, now, um, so you can buy those as well, or you can download the PJ pattern. And we are doing an introductory offer of £6 only for the PJ pattern, so if you want to um, get them, then you could get them for that soon. Um, I'll put details to that in the comments below. Yeah, so there we go. There isn't really much else I can say about the PJs. Um, I guess I should tell you about fabric choices, but really it's whatever you want. I mean, I like, in the summer, cotton lawn. 
in the winter brush cotton or just standard lightweight cotton is really nice. Um, I always think cotton rather than poly cotton or anything like that. You want to be able to breathe in your pajamas. Um, so something really comfy above all. But I also think it's time to get out those novelty prints. So if you've got some fabric that you absolutely love, but you just think you wouldn't wear it outside, this is the fabric, this is the pattern for that per for that fabric purchase. Um, so certainly I was looking at all our novelty print fabrics um, at work again. All these things with like penguins and whales and various things that come in and I think they're great, but I wouldn't actually wear them in my normal wardrobe. Now is the time for me to um, take advantage of those fabrics. So I'm also wanted just to answer a few questions, um, or not questions, but um, I just thought because this is a particularly short video, I was going to just talk about a couple of things that I see in the comments. So it's particularly last week, um, there were lots of comments, which is great, um, and um, it was all about the Morris blazer. Um, and I just wanted to say that I absolutely agree with a lot of you when you said that the shoulders did seem big. I think though what had happened is when I put it back on, because of my chunky necklace, I didn't pull it back on properly. Because when I was editing it, I was like, oh, Lisa, you're not wearing it properly. I could see it was sort of sitting out. But I also think that was partly to do with the fabric because it was sort of rigid and didn't have enough weight. It didn't sort of pull up in the right position. But yes, I think when I put it on properly, it doesn't look like the shoulders are too big. And I like that sort of loose fitting. I do have na narrow shoulders, but um, for that, it did seem okay with the position that they were in. But yeah, I do think I'm going to make it again because I just feel like I didn't give it the chance that I should have and it was my fault for choosing the wrong fabric. So I'm going to do it again and I'm not going to line it. But um, yeah, I'm just going to wait until I found the right fabric for it because um, what I did with the wool is I just quickly looked and so over it and thought, oh, what do I really like and what do I want to jack it out of and Ooh, do you think I could make that work? Rather than thinking I'm going to wait for the perfect fabric for this pattern. I also want to tell you guys the wool that my mother-in-law used on the, um, the coat, <laughs> on the jumper that she knitted for me. Um, so I asked her what it was um, and it was from Laughing Hens, which is an online shop. And it's Rowan Felted Tweed Aran. So I guess you can get that from anywhere. Rowan Felted Tweed Aran. So it had kind of a marley feel to it, um, like kind of it was kind of flecky in places. Yeah, it's really lovely wool. Really do recommend um, to knitters making something out of that. Um, so yes, those are the two things I kept forgetting to tell you. Um, so sorry about that. Um, but if I ever forget to tell you something that I said that I would, just put it in the comments again because I do read all the comments. Um, so um, it's always um, a good reminder. Um, and um, yeah, if there's anything, I obviously there are for lots of questions and I just can't answer everything, but it has recently prompted me to think maybe we should do a Q&A um, in the next couple of weeks. So if you have any questions, whether that's to do with something I've talked about in the past or whether it's to do with um, a sewing Thing, something where I don't have to actually physically do the project to show you but if it's a, a, a kind of question I can answer then just yeah just let me know in the comments below or let me know on Instagram um, either way whichever place you prefer to leave comments um, and I shall gather them up and I'll do a Q&A before Christmas so yeah f send in your questions but for now that is it Oh, I know what I forgot to tell you. I forgot to tell you what size I had made in the pyjamas. Yes, I need to tell you that. So, I am normally a size 10 on my bottom half, but um, the pyjamas, because they're such a loose fitting, we've actually graded them extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. So, it, what we've done, we've sort of grouped the sizes together. So the grades in between the sizes are bigger. So I made the size 10 to 12, um, I think it's 10 to 12, the size small basically. Um, so they are, and you can see they are quite loose on me, so that is the kind of um, fit that I like. But if you like them to be less loose, then you might want to kind of think about going down a size. But we have included the finished measurements so that you can make sure that they, you're not going to go down too much so that you can still pull them on and off. Um, but yes, 
um, I made a size small. I'm going to start saying that guys so you know um, what size that I make. Um, I'm also thinking it might be useful to put my measurements up somewhere so because I often we get asked how tall I am because um, I know that's hard to tell from a photo um, and I think that would be useful to have that information as well especially when you're looking at hems and things so um, we will find a suitable place to put that um, and I'll pop it we'll pop it on the site and maybe I'll mention it on one of these videos as well anyway that is it for this week um, it's very early in the morning um, so I actually got dressed in my normal clothes and then remembered that I was filming this so got undressed and put my pajamas on and my slippers and now I feel like I don't want to go out because it's chucking it down with rain but um, I've got lots of meetings out in town today so I am going to go out um, but um, yeah this weather does not inspire exciting visits in London it, it inspires staying in and getting cosy perfect for pajamas really perfect weather we waited till the worst weather came guys till the storm angus came and then we thought right now's the moment to launch this pattern no we weren't that organized obviously this has just happened to be when we decided to launch it um but yeah it's coincided with awful weather anyway guys i hope you all have lovely weeks i'll see you next week um i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna do next week um i don't know if i'll be ready with my makes i hope i will yeah, so maybe it will be, fingers crossed it will be makes. See you then. Bye!